Hey YouTube, this is Todd Anderson with avnirvana.com. This is not technically an official review. It's a video that's meant to be fun and it's also a video that's meant to log information about this particular product because it's hard to find a lot of information about it. Throughout the video, uh, there's a couple moments where I misspeak and again, this is something that I threw together for fun and I'm very aware that these speakers do not have Kevlar drivers, they are carbon fiber drivers, so just to note that. Also, the sound quality is a little hindered because I'm using a microphone attached to a Dream Grip. I have some new gear coming in for future videos, so please bear with us. We're listening to you, so we appreciate the feedback, and uh, hope you stick around. When you're done, come over to AV Nirvana, check us out. Welcome you to a special edition of one of our videos. I'm downstairs right now in my home in a uh, newly renovated space in our basement that is uh, our, our new game room and bar area. That brings me to uh, why we're shooting this video. We have something else down here that I need to use a little AV tech with. But let me just show you what it is. We're just putting the finishing touches on the construction side of our project down here, starting with the decorating and installing some of our electronics and stuff. This is my NSM Emerald Ice jukebox player. It houses 100 CDs, which uh, in its day was quite a bit. This uh, is a unit that was made in Germany and was originally operated in a bar in New York City. So this used to be in a different part of our basement, uh, something that's long been destroyed. Now for our new space, uh, we wanted to have something uh, speaker-wise that's a little bit more discreet. So I started by uh, digging through stuff on the internet, reading reviews and, and such, and then started reaching out to uh, some friends of mine that work in the industry. We were more concerned with purchasing something that was inexpensive and sounds good rather than throwing a ton of money into something uh, that is made for you know a high-class system. And really the reason is the sound quality of this unit, it doesn't have the best sound quality. So I really was hesitant to spend, you know, anywhere in the $500 to $1,000 range. And I ended up talking to a buddy of mine over at Monoprice about some of their end ceiling speakers. He ended up suggesting that I look at their eight inch Alpha Series speakers. I ended up purchasing them. They were dirt cheap, $109, uh, you know, with shipping on top of that is super inexpensive and i'm really curious to hear what they sound like so what we're going to do today is we're going to unbox them and i have another little goodie over here that we're going to unbox at the same time it's a, a little treat that uh, svs sent over let's go check that out all right so here we go and here we have the alpha series speakers from monoprice and right here we have SVS's Prime Wireless Sound Base. I've heard this in action at a couple different shows. I've never had this in my home before, but SVS sent this over in order for me to do a full review on it. But first I'm gonna use it down here. This is basically a small compact amplifier unit that is capable of 300 watts of continuous power, uh, two times 150 as they claim. It carries an onboard 24192 DAC for high-res sound. It has streaming and it carries DTS PlayFi wireless uh, technology, which you can use with the PlayFi app. So this is gonna be a lot of fun to get out and we'll open this after we get these guys out. So I'm really curious to see what these uh, speakers look like. From the looks of things on the website, they have great quality. It's a, uh, they are a two-way speaker. They have an eight-inch Kevlar woofer and a single one-inch tweeter. They're capable of performing uh, down to about 50 hertz, so not too bad for music. And uh, I'm really hoping that they live up to their billing. This box has quite a bit of weight for sure. And let's see what we have here. User's manual, speaker, uh, template. So here we go. You can see they ship with a, a white removable grill, which is cool. It's, it's magnetically held in. Here you can take a little closer look. This is the one inch silicone tweeter and I misspoke a second ago. I'm sure folks at Monoprice are probably yelling at me. You guys are probably yelling at me. This is not Kevlar. This is a carbon fiber driver right there. 
And the back side has a <laughs> nice big magnet. And the components, yeah, it looks nice. I mean, it feels good in the hands. It does not feel cheap at all. So let's see what SVS has hidden in this box. All right, to be expected, the packaging is a little bit more robust than uh, the mono price packaging. We have some SVS pamphlets, uh, information about the sound path, accessories, registration card and such. Some nice uh, foam padding. And here's a look at what's inside the box. It says, warning, this bag is not a toy. Well, what we have in it is a toy, a yeah, pretty cool toy. But here's what the unit looks like. Uh, it's really, really attractive. Um, let's see, it has the SVS logo embossed on the top. You have some uh, simple, simple controls that are notched on the front. And a little display. Rubber feet on the bottom. I'd say this unit weighs probably about five pounds or so, maybe six pounds. And on the back, you have a lot of different uh, connection options, optical in, RCA inputs. You have a sub out, uh, which is really handy if you want to add a little kick to your system. And then you have these uh, nice speaker posts. Really impressive. Now we're going to use this with the Alpha Series speakers just for this informal test. And then later on, I'll hook it up to uh, some SVS bookshelf speakers. So we'll put it through some sound testing. And then hopefully soon, we're gonna be in an upstairs portion of my house where we're going to be testing out some of KLH's new in-ceiling speakers, which should be fun also. All right, now for the task of installing these speakers. I pre-built some boxes and there are soundproofing on the outside of the boxes uh, to help keep sound transfer to a minimum between our basement and our first floor of our home. But the contractor and his uh, drywall crew, they just drywall right over it. So I think I've identified where the boxes are inside of the two bays down here. So uh, let me get cutting and I'm gonna break the speakers in. I'll run them for a couple days and then I'll come back and revisit you and I'll let you know what my ears hear. Okay, so speaker number two is officially up in the ceiling. It went up without any issues. You basically just have to tighten four screws that are around the outer edge of the speaker. I have this gyroscopic uh, screwdriver. This makes things super easy, but I mean, you could do it with a regular old plain uh, Phillips head. It'd just take you a little bit longer. Just a note, now that I've had a chance to handle these speakers and, and get them up into the ceiling, uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with the, the physical build quality of the speaker. I mean, they feel solid in the hand, they're not flexing, there's no, no plastic cracking when I'm tightening the screws down. It just seems like a really uh, competent build. So, you know, kudos to Monoprice on that. And uh, here's hoping that there's good sound to match. Okay, so uh, the SVS sound base is hooked up. Give you a quick look at it right there. I'm gonna give it a quick test listen and then let these speakers break in for a few days and uh, I'll be back to let you know what I think. Okay, I'm back. So it's been about a week since I installed the speakers. During that time, I put them through a small break-in period, spent a few days listening to music that I'm very familiar with, and then we had a large gathering of friends and family over for the holiday and they were fed a wide variety of music at all different volume levels. So I've heard them used in quite a few different scenarios. Now, Monoprice says these speakers can play down to 45 hertz. I took a few informal measurements that I'm not gonna show here. They were just informal in-room measurements and I can confirm that at least in my room, I was finding that they were in fact playing down to 45 hertz with you know usable bass down to 45 hertz, if not even lower, kind of closer to 40. So that's a really good thing. 
Now, in terms of sound quality, I, these speakers are mind blowing. I mean, considering the price, 109 bucks, I mean, I, I was expecting good performance, not great performance. And what I've heard over the last few days is great performance. The music playback is full of excellent bass, really, really competent highs and a good mid range. I really can't speak highly enough. And even when they're pushed to high volume levels, they stay composed and very even. I have zero problem recommending these speakers, especially considering the price. Quite frankly, I'd spend 300 bucks on these speakers and be completely happy. So if you're wondering, are these speakers worth it? Yes. You're going to get a competently built speaker that uses really nice materials. They feel great in the hands. They are super easy to install. Almost anybody can install these. If you have the right tools, you can do it. And then playback wise, man, I mean, mono price, it's a home run. These are fantastic. Now, as for the SVS Soundbase uh, wireless amp, I had that up and running very quickly. Uh, I had music pumping through the speakers right away. SVS has made it incredibly easy to set up your Wi-Fi, make Bluetooth connections, and switch between sources. We used this unit at this gathering uh, that we had for the holiday, and it was driving the speakers to loud levels. Uh, zero hints of distortion. It seemed like it was always in control. There were no dropouts. I uh, had a ton of fun with it. And I'm looking forward to hooking it up to a pair of bookshelf speakers uh, to, to test it out in that manner. But as of now, two thumbs up. Uh, great job by SVS. Okay, YouTube, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for hanging out with me and listening to what I have to say about these Alpha Series speakers. My recommendation, if your budget's uh, $500 or $400 or less, you can't go wrong with these speakers. Definitely give them a fair shake. Check out the consumer reviews they have on their website. I think you're gonna find a lot of those echo what I'm saying. These speakers are completely legit and uh, I have zero hesitation recommending them. In the meantime, if you haven't come over to avnirvana.com, come check us out. Come join up and join the conversation on our forum. We'd love to have you. See you soon.